this is the a house on Father's Lane. This is a house on Mead Lane. Would you want to live there? The next one. This is Ocean Street. There are 12 room houses that are tall and thin. They have lots of ornamentation on them. Every house has a tall fence with barbed wire on top around it. There are lots of gaps in the fences. The houses are made of concrete. The street lights are blue. <laughs> Ocean Street. Would you want to live there? Next one. Up from Row Lane. There are ten room houses which are calming colours. The buses rarely reach the street, so bus, bus stops are like an activity centre. There is a pond next to the street. The houses have big windows and pretty curtains. There are no gardens. We do want to live. We do want to live up there. On, on the next one is Rose Street. They have lots of benches and twelve room houses with pools outside of them. There are print. They have hippie decorations on them. They have are painted in pale colours and there are tall fences by the houses but there are arguing in the arguing in the street. Do you want to live in Rose Street? Next, this is that. Next one is Lawn Avenue. There are kids playing in the street and five room houses. Each house has vegetables growing outside it. There are no cars in the street. The pavement is made of grass. It is like a forest. 
with trees growing up and down the pavement. There are lots of cafes which serve natural food. Would you want to live on that street? Next one is Bush Passage. There are 12 room houses. The street has friendly people in it and no one is indoors. The houses have gardens on the roof. Most of the people were old. But some, and if something in the house breaks, it just gets replaced with another old material. Would you want to live there? Next one. Meadow Avenue. There are five room houses and kids playing in the street and friendly adults too. The houses are bright happy colours and there are no street lights. There is a box in the street full of surprises. But, but there are no pets and the cars drive very fast. Would you want to live there? Next one. Heritage Way. The street has a playground in it and the houses have seven rooms. The people are happy. The street lights are orange. There are often sudden fires and explosions, but the people are very happy and don't care. The cars drive very fast. Would you want to live there? Next one, Java Avenue. There are five room houses and there are aggressive people in the street. There are shops where the shopkeepers drag people in from the street. The people are very romantic in public. The houses are reinforced concrete and have guard dogs by them and big fences with barbed wire. The cars drive very quickly and the pavement is collapsing. Do you want to live there? Next one. Cliff Street. There are seven room houses and a hospital on the street. The people are kind and happy. The houses are in pastel colours with play equipment by them, but the houses are built out of wood. Would you want to live there? Next one, Kingwood Lane. There are seven room houses with flowers in the front garden. There is a cake shop and a clothes shop. There are lots of adverts and, uh, and they have comfy benches. Under shelters, there are people giggling in the street too. We do up to live there. Next one, Wright Street. There are 16, expen 16 room expensive looking old fashioned houses. There are hippie decorations on the houses. The houses are painted black. The street lights are old fashioned and expensive. The floor is made of marble. There are kids playing in the street and each garden has a homemade sculpture in it. Would you want to live there? Next one. Um, Cottage.
vintage way. There are eight room houses with flowers in the garden. The pavement is made of grass with trees along it. Um, the houses are old fashioned. The cars drive slowly. Each house smells of something nice, but the people are very miserable. Would you want to live there? Next, peace one. There, there are six room houses that look plain. There are soft benches under shelters and everyone seems to be lazy. The pavement is made of pebbles and the houses are made of stone. Would you want to live there? Next, Storm Row. There are 13 room houses. The streets are quiet. There is a worship place next to the street. The street is uh, pristine and the houses are modern. The gardens are neatly trimmed. The houses have big plain windows with no curtains. Do you want to live there? Next, Innovation Street. There are 15 room houses which are modern. The cars are new, the street lights are futuristic, the gardens are big, the benches in the street are made of expensive materials, the people throw away good things. Would you want to live there? Clearance Way. There are ten room houses with a with a tall fence around them. The houses are black and look old fashioned. The people have good manners and the signs are in formal language. But there is a graveyard in the street and there are traps and dungeons under the street. Next, Phoenix Avenue. There are four room houses which are portable. The people are lazy. The houses are neat and plain. The street and so are the street lights. There are no benches, shops or activities in it. There are also no gardens. Final Street, Ranger Street, there are one room houses, the pavement is broken, dirty and muddy, the people are poor, the houses are made of uh, wood uh, and look like they could fall down, the street is smelly, there are no gardens. So, which one out of the streets that I said would you most want to live in?